Hi everyone, welcome to PT Time with Tim. I'm Dr. Tim, I'm a licensed physical therapist. In today's topic, we will be discussing the best stretches for neck pain relief. But first, I need to provide you with my medical disclaimer. Over the past year, I've seen an influx of patients coming to me with neck-related pain. A lot of that has to do with them working from home where they don't have access to that supportive desk setup that they did in the office. They've been working from their dining room tables or their kitchen counters or on their couch where this increases the stress on the neck and the upper back leading to neck pain. So today I wanted to show you the five best stretches for neck pain relief. When we're talking about neck pain, we're referencing pain from the base of the skull to the top of the shoulders and in between the shoulder blades. You might be asking, how hard should I push into these stretches? I usually tell people to start with mild intensity stretches. So you're not gonna be pushing through pain, you're gonna go be, you're gonna push right up to the edge of pain. So just mild intensity to start with, and then as you get better with your stretches, you can gently increase the intensity. Our number five stretch is the towel cervical rotation stretch. So what you're gonna need is a pillowcase or a, a hand towel is a little short. I'd probably use like a bath towel or something. You need it about this long here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna roll it up, grab one end with one hand. You're gonna bring that up against your chest and bring the towel or the pillowcase, wrap it around the back of the neck. You're gonna bring it up across your temples, so try not to, try not to pull too hard across your ear. You wanna go a little bit higher, so that really is kind of on the side of the forehead here. You're going to look whatever direction that you're kind of limited in, you kind of feel some tightness with that rotation. You look over to that point where you start to feel a stretch, and then you pull across your body with your opposite hand. So it might be hard to see, but what I'm doing is I'm actually pulling gently. I'm extending my elbow with this hand forward. And because the, the pillowcase is wrapped around the back of my neck, it's actually uh, increasing the neck rotation. And I'm starting to feel a stretch on the opposite side of my neck with this. And so you hold that for five or 10 seconds and then you relax, and then you pull into that stretch, and you relax, and then you can go to the opposite direction if you feel some tightness with that one as well, but basically I do about five or 10 of those repetitions of those five to 10 second holds in either direction. The next stretch that we're gonna speak about is the Scalene's Stargazer stretch. Okay, so the scalenes are some neck muscles on the front side of the neck. They're on both sides here, and they're, they're located right where my fingers are. And basically, to get this stretch right, think about the stargazer. This is why they call it the stargazer. So we're going to look up and across, and we're going to stretch the opposite side of the neck. So if I want to stretch the right scalenes, I'm going to take both hands. I'm going to anchor my, my collarbone or your clavicle. I'm going to anchor that with my fingers. I'm going to look up and to the left until I feel that tension through those muscles. And I definitely feel a good stretch on my right scalenes right now. And I'm going to hold that five or 10 seconds. And then I'm going to relax. And then I'll repeat that another four times for five times total. So holding for five to 10 seconds and relaxing. And then I would continue to repeat that. If I wanted to target my left scalenes, I'm gonna switch my hands to the left side, hold that, that collarbone, and look up and to the right. And so it's a really great stretch, the scalene stargazer stretch. Our next stretch is the levator scapula stretch. The levator scapula is a muscle that runs from the top of the shoulder to the base of the skull. To do the stretch correctly, you take one hand, you place it on the middle of your back, you rotate as far over to the opposite side as you can, and then you bring your other hand up over the center part of your forehead, so basically kind of directly up over the nose. And I tell people that really, it's almost like you're pulling your nose down, straight down towards your armpit. So you have to be fully rotated though, that's key. And now I'm gonna gently pull my nose towards my armpit. And right there, I can feel that levator scapula on stretch on the opposite side. So I'm stretching my left side here, and I'm feeling that stretch in the upper neck. So that's where you should feel this one if you're doing it correctly. You pat yourself 
in the middle of your back, elbow high, rotate your neck all the way over, gently come up over the for or up over to the top of the head and gently pull that nose towards the armpit. And again, I feel that stretch high on the opposite side, on the left side of my neck. So that's the levator scapula stretch. If you happen to have any shoulder issues, like a rotator cuff injury or shoulder pain, you can modify this stretch. So for the modification, I ask people to grab the bottom of a chair or the edge of a table and really hold that shoulder down. Again, you'll rotate all the way over and then pull that nose gently towards the armpit. You, you'll still get an adequate stretch. It's just not going to be quite as good as uh, patting yourself in the middle of the back. Our next stretch is the pec stretch. Our pec muscles are located in our chest here. And since people have been working from home so much, if you're using poor posture and you're sitting kind of in a forward slump position, which I know a lot of people are, so we need to open those shoulders back up. Now, I, I'm going to use the corner here to do this stretch, but I've also teach, I also teach people to do it in a doorway. So either way, we're gonna use the same mechanics. So for this pec stretch, we're gonna face the corner. We're gonna put our shoulders and our arms up in a goalpost position, so this kind of 90-90 position. You're gonna stagger your stance, having one leg forward. Your forearms are resting vertically on the wall, and I'm gonna gently lean towards the corner until I start to feel a stretch across my chest. And for this stretch, you're gonna hold it for 30 seconds and do three repetitions, just like the other muscle stretches. Our last stretch that we're gonna talk about is the upper trapezius stretch, or the upper traps. So your upper traps run from your neck to the top of the shoulder, and then back down to the middle part of the back. It's kind of a diamond shape if you're looking from the back side. And basically, these muscles help to elevate the shoulders or do shoulder shrugs. So if you've ever seen anyone in the gym grabbing some heavy weights and, and shrugging their shoulders, that's the upper trap muscle or muscles. And so for the upper trap stretch, you're gonna be in a seated position. I'm gonna grab the bottom of a chair or the edge of a table. So I'm holding my shoulder down. And then I'm gonna come up over my head from the opposite side. I'm gonna look straight ahead and then I'm gonna gently pull my left ear towards my left shoulder. So you can see this muscle here being put on stretch, and that's the upper trapezius. So you're gonna feel this stretch here. This is gonna be different than that levator scapula, which you feel it more back here on the kind of upper part of the neck. This is gonna be on the side of the neck. And so you're gonna hold that for 30 seconds, three times. Thanks for stopping by PT Time with Tim. You'll definitely want to check out my other videos so that you can get back to living a pain-free, active, and adventurous lifestyle.